First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who definitely rule well. And honors and salutations to the hopeful alike. So, real quick lesson. What I want to get into is, and what I want to entitle this is, the Lord's feelings. Okay? The Lord's feelings. Because this is what we have to think about, man. We have to think about the Lord and how he feels. The Lord has feelings as well, man. Okay? The Lord gets everything we feel, the Lord feels. The Lord gets disgusted. He gets angry. He gets mad. On the other side, he gets, you know, loving, appreciative, thankful to us. Because, you know, if the Lord wasn't thankful to, to us, um doing the works then he wouldn't give us rewards you give somebody a reward if you if you're thankful you know he said because you was faithful over a few things be thou ruler over many things you know here here's 10 cities to rule that's showing what thankfulness and appreciation so the point is man thank you how about you shy yeah First and foremost, our Father, the true and living power, and Yahweh Shai, who has been given all power, all control by the Heavenly Father. They both have feelings and, and emotions, just like we do. And this is our duty, man. This is our life duty to make sure that we're being pleasing to them to make sure that we're being profitable to them, make sure that we're being helpful to them. The scriptures say, man, all right, so let's get the scriptures. Let me start off with, all right, I'll start off with First Corinthians uh, 11 and 3, I believe, right? Yep. And then, all right. Yeah, phone shut, cut off, man. When the phone cuts off, the lesson cuts off. But anyway, all right, let's start with First Corinthians 7 and 3. It says, but I would have you know that the head of every man is the Messiah, which is Yahweh Shai, the anointed one, Yahweh Shai. The head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai, ultimately, who the word in the called Jesus, is the Most High. And this right here is a clear cut. If you don't understand, you ain't meant to understand. This is a clear cut on how they're separate entities. They're not one. Oh, the Father and the Son is one. Then how is this? Then how is this in order right here? You know, when you map it out, the order is the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh Shai, man woman then the children okay so the reason why i brought this out is because oh now you know what too real quick get into the word head right g2776 g2776 right from the greek right here it says The head, both of men, I'll read through a quick, since the Lord has destroyed life, this word is metaphorically anything supreme, chief, prominent, anything supreme, chief, or prominent. So, the chief, we think of uh, chief, the chief is what comes first, and the chief is what, in the prominent position. The chief is what? In the rulership position. When you look at it as a guide. The chief is the ruler. So, 
Who's the ruler over Yahweh Shai is the most high. Who's the ruler over man is Yahweh Shai. Who's the ruler over um woman is the man. Who's the ruler over children? Well, it's me, the woman and the man, but that's really the woman's job. The scriptures say, I will therefore that she guide the house. You see that? So, with that being said, we have to please our ruler who's who's over us, which is Yahweh Shai. So just as, a, oh, now that makes you want to get. Right, now, ch now check this out. Come on, man. Right? Ecclesiastes or the book of Sirach, chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, a pillar of rest. See? So when we when you get a wife, you're getting a possession and you're getting a help. You're getting a helpmate. Okay? Help you with whatever the case may be. Help you in, in any and every aspect in your life. She's supposed to be a help. I don't give a fuck what it is, man. From cooking to giving to learning how to give you a haircut, learning how to give you a massage, washing your clothes. Her job is to make your life easier so that you could be more profitable in life that is that is that is the role of a woman now see Esau Edom they don't know how to rule for shit so now they diminish they canceled out that role and gave them a different role from their natural order giving them a role in society now to contribute to yeah, uh, uh, to society ultimately to bring in more money for the country man so now their role their duty is to the country rather than their man and their family let me let this pass let me let this noise pass right so we take the same sentiment and apply it to the one that rules over us. Okay? The head of the man, which is Yahweh Shai. So just as a woman, she has to think about, you know, our feelings, you know, knowing how to cheer us up if we feeling, you know, lowly, knowing how to uh <clears throat> you know be pleasing in our sight, knowing how to be beneficial, knowing how to be profitable to us. We have to take that same sentiment and apply it to Yahweh Shai. You know, we have to put Yahweh Shai before, before even ourselves, man. See, and when you think of a chief, when you think of a chief, sometimes you have to put, well, yeah, ultimately you have to put the chief before yourself too. Because if the chief calls on, calls upon you back in the days to go to war, you have to go to war for 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 the chief, man, and for for your nation ultimately. So we have to think of the Lord's feelings and how we can be beneficial to them before even our own selves, man. And then when they're OK and they're good. Right. And 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 our job is done, you know, we got our lessons in or whatever the case may be, then you can get into your own shit, man. You know? Just like that with the with the woman. You know, when the man when the man is taken care of, or whatever the case may be, and he's chilling. You know, going to man cave or whatever, like they say, then you could get into your your own hobbies and, and stuff like that, man. Right? So let me get back to the scriptures, right? And it'll take us a long way. It's Isaiah 26 and 3. 
that I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Whoo! Could you imagine having a woman whose mind is stayed on you? Her mind is stayed on you. Do you know what that means, man? She's going to constantly be trying to uplift you. Constantly be trying to, you know, make sure you're good. Constantly trying to, you know, find ways to surprise you and stuff like that, man. And this is how we have to be for the Lord, man. You know, a woman is supposed to be all about her man, yo. She's supposed to be all about her man. And this is and this is not about a woman woman thing. It's really about us taking that sentiment and applying it to the Lord. You know, we 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 need to be all about Yahweh Shemir Shai, making sure that that they're good. And you know what? Um, sometimes we may we may want this, and we we may want that. But what about what the Lord wants? You may oh I want this and I want that. Yeah, well the Lord wants you to be on fire. What about that? See, we're not going to be a rebellious wife, so to speak. A selfish wife. Oh, you got to do for me in order for uh, uh, me to, to do for you. Hell no, man. What the Lord wants comes first. Then we can do this and that in our in our spare time. Well, we have to think about the Lord's feelings, man. And pleasing the Lord. To quote another scripture, scripture says in the book of Baruch, happy are we, O Israel, for the things that are pleasing unto the Lord are made known unto us. So, whew, how good, right, of a wife, so to speak, do you want to be? You know? Because a woman, man, she should know her man's Everything about him, man. Where he from. His story. What he likes. What he dislikes. She should be studied in that. And I think they had showed that on Game of Thrones. You know? She should be well studied in, in, in her man. And that's how we, we should be with the Lord. Knowing what, what pleases him and what displeases him. And getting the job done, man. But a lot of people don't don't think like this, man. The scriptures say the Lord is not in all their thoughts. Can you imagine that? <laughs> you got a woman and you ain't even in all her thoughts. So it's like really you getting played, man. So that's pretty much it, man. Just wanted to put that sentiment out there. You know, you we could want this and we can want that. But what about what the Lord wants? Are we getting done what the Lord wants? You know, so Lord, we're edifying with that. I'm going to say shalom.